This is called love. And this is what makes food good. Love. Love is what makes love. food good. Because you have to love to be able to stand here and do this. If you didn't love this, you wouldn't stand here and do this. No. I have a special guest cooking with me in my kitchen today. This is Lynn Dunlap. Hello. And she lives about a half an hour from me. And when I said that I had plums recently, she said, I'll come and take some and make you some plum jam, which she did. She has made plum jam and also she made lemon curd with my lemons. So today we are going to make her recipe for lemon curd. So stay tuned. Right on. All right. <laughs> okay. So you know I love super easy recipes and this is a super easy recipe that only takes about 20 minutes to make. Yep. But the trick is in the whisk. You must be good with a whisk <laughs> because you're going to whisk a lot. So the ingredients are three quarters cup fresh lemon juice and I have my Meyer lemons from my tree. One tablespoon grated lemon zest, which we'll do in a moment. Three quarters cup sugar, and we always use organic okay. pure cane sugar. And we've got three large eggs. Already and, cracked in the bowl, ready to whisk. Right, and a half a cup, which is one stick of unsalted butter, melted and cooled. Yes. It has to be cooled. Okay, so we have already melted the butter. It is cooling. This is a one pan dish, right? Yes. Okay. I'm going to bring down the temperature by doing this. We call it <laughs> swirling it in the pan because I, I can't put egg into a hot mixture. So what we're going to do right now while it's cooling down. Do you want to put it in a different pan? Oh, okay. I'm going to add sugar. Can I have a, a, of course. a measuring cup, please? Yes. You need three quarters so you can give me a quarter if you want. Oh, okay. One of those. Okay. Unfortunately, it, it rips off. Oh no, it never comes off very straight. Okay, so we're going to measure out three quarters of a cup. And it says combine all ingredients except eggs. Except Let set until sugar dissolves. Because I asked her what makes it thick. And that's what you do. The you, egg. The egg. You add the eggs and whisk over medium heat until it starts to bubble. Keep whisking until transferred to a pint jar, can jar. Mm. She also canned, deep water canned this lemon curd so that I could keep it in my refrigerator for, I mean, on my shelf for a while. And uh, incorporate the sugar in at this point just so it will melt somewhat before we start. All right, so what we have in the pan right now is a half a cup of melted butter, which is one stick and we've added three quarters of a cup of sugar so we can dissolve it in there before we add the rest of the ingredients. And I'm just gonna stir it up a little bit right now. And we're gonna let it sit there while I prepare the rest of the ingredients. Now I'm gonna whisk three eggs in a bowl and set it aside while I prepare the lemon for the mixture. It's all in the whisk. Just do small strokes so you don't get it out of the bowl and do it very well so it's well blended. Just till it's very nice and smooth and we're going to set it aside. So now we're going to zest about a tablespoon of the lemon by rolling it as you zest. The, just the yellow part and not the white. Try to stay away from the white. That's why we turn the lemon constantly while we're zesting. And I wouldn't make this recipe without doing this because it's the zest that really makes this recipe fantastic. Okay, I think we had about a tablespoon. And now I'm going to add the lemon zest. Now we're going to juice three quarters of a cup of lemon juice. Nice and juicy. Beautiful. Okay. I've never seen such juicy lemons in my life. Well, how much juice would a normal lemon that you buy in the store get you? About three to four tablespoons. Mm -hmm. 
and try not to get seeds in it. Do we have three quarters? Yes, right there, three quarters. So it took two of your lemons. Okay. Lemon seeds. So we have three quarters of a cup of lemon and that's going directly into our mixture. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna add the lemon juice right now to the mixture. And we're also going to add the eggs that we whisked a little while ago. And I go ahead and scrape the bowl, excuse me, to get as much egg out as possible because I don't like leaving ingredients behind. Okay, now we're gonna whisk this together but we're also going to turn the heat on medium. And the key is to whisk the entire time that you're doing this because you don't want your eggs to cook on their own. You want them to be incorporated the entire time. About 10 minutes. Yes, okay. continuously. This is a little high on the heat. Too high? Yeah, medium low. Okay. So this is what we're going to do for about 10 minutes now. And when it starts to boil, or little bubbles start to come up on a boil, that's when you're done. And you have a jar prepared and you pour it in a jar. You just gotta keep stirring. I know it's a noisy process, but if you don't do this, it ain't going to come out right. You're going to have lumps. Big, you can have scrambled eggs in your lemon curd. So the trick is to keep the heat low enough and to keep stirring. Because you want it to come to a boil. You don't want the heat so low that it never boils. Right. But on the other hand, you don't want the heat to be high enough to right. cook the eggs before you can get them incorporated. And you have to be willing to whisk. I mean, you just you just have to be willing. <laughs> Sometimes I let it sit for just a second. See? To see if it boils. There it goes. There it goes. We're done. Wow. You want to film it while I... It's all being filmed, baby. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> You're so funny. Okay, so we'll just do it for another second or two here. Okay. Whoop, there you go. Wow, okay, we're okay. done. All right. So we're gonna to pour it right into the jar. About Ooh. a quarter inch from the top. That looks so good. We got a little leftover, so like I said, you might as well eat it now. <laughs> Let's do. Isn't that beautiful? Wow, and how soon do you put the lid on? Yeah. Right away. Okay. Yeah. You can reuse lids if they're not creased. If they're not, if they look good, you just uh -huh. have to look at them. There we go. Wow. All done. And then if you wanted to can it, to put it on the shelf, you would water bath it under boiling water, covering the top uh, at a full rolling boil for 10 minutes. Take it out and set it, and then this will go and then you're done. And this lemon curd, is gonna have a special flavor profile because it came directly from your lemons on your tree. Lemon tart is one of my favorite desserts, Ooh. so this is like eating the tart without the crust. Exactly. Perfect. Exactly, <laughs> and you can use this in tarts. So now for the taste test. Okay, here we go. Warm. Can, oh. can, can you tell it's good? <laughs> She's gonna eat the whole thing. <laughs> I can't even begin to tell you how good that is. Oh, well, I'm so and glad. And it does have the flavor of my Meyer lemon. Yes, it does. It's that flavor profile. Yep. Mm. Mm. And you know, this has egg in it, so I could be like breakfast, right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> this is breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> this on a piece of toast. Yes. My breakfast. Yes, absolutely. Oh my gosh, thank you so well, much. Enjoy. Mm. Thanks so much for watching this channel, liking my videos, and especially sharing them with your friends. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And if you enjoyed this cooking video, why not try these? Thanks so much. Kay Cottrell, Late Bloomer, see you next time. If you would like to see this gal come back and cook more stuff in my kitchen, please let me know. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> Thank you. So glad you found my channel. Oh, me too. <laughs> Great. I've never done anything like this. <laughs> I know. <laughs>